Okay, this should work. This should work, okay. I'm smarter than the average bitch. If my theory is correct, this should work this time. It should work, y'all. If it don't, um, <clears throat> Facebook just don't want to let me be great. And I don't appreciate that. I'm waiting on him to come back, y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm waiting on it to pop up to where I can add him, but I can see, I can see him now. So that's a plus. Wait, I can't shit. Okay. Let me see y'all. Damn, what happened? He disappeared. Oh, y'all. Facebook is aggravating me. He was just right there and they disappeared. Okay. It's so crazy. Okay. Do does anybody see the option to join? Does anybody see that at all? Am I tripping? Cause I thought I had fixed this. Okay, Brianna can okay, you did it. Um shaky. Um, hit the join button. Y'all, what that shit look like? I can't see it. Somebody tell them what it look like. We done pulled, um, we done pulled him from Instagram. Oh, it's green. Okay, it's green like my wig. Hit that. Hey, whatever's green. Hey, y'all. Let me turn my music on. Y'all feel crazy. It's quiet as hell. Hey, y'all. Y'all, okay, y'all. I know y'all see it. Stop hitting it. I need him to hit it. No. Oh, Lord. Okay, y'all. He on the computer. Maybe that's the problem. Okay. Get on the phone. Y'all, I've been smoking, y'all. I've been smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> He on the PC, y'all. I don't, I don't think he could he could see it on there like that. I don't know. I use my um iPad and my phone, my iPhone to get on um Facebook. So y'all, I don't know. I don't know shit. I do not know. I'm trying to get this together. I think that's the problem. We finna fix it though. So what's up, y'all? What's tea? While we get this together, let me turn my music on. I'm just chilling, y'all. I told y'all I've been smoking, so. Oop, here you go, y'all. Here you go, y'all. We fixed it, I believe. Don't quote me, but I think here you go. It's taking forever. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking I'm being grand. Trying to get on the computer. 
And it's just, I should have just got on the phone from the gig. It wasn't you, it was actually me. So I am apologizing for that. It's, so, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Um, I don't know where my headphones are. I think my phone's right there. And I'm just, the whole time I think the Facebook just would not let us be great, girl. <laughs> it's really not trying to let us be great. I'm thinking I'm just being just the grandest girl I have my little beats in ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, all right. So, um, I want to start my little playlist just so we can have a little bit of something in the background. Okay. And, um, then we can go ahead and start. Okay. All right. How you doing, boo? I am okay, sweetheart. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. So um, we don't know each other, so I'm Bella. Nice to meet you, Bella. I have I did a little research on you and saw some of uh, your stuff, so I'm, I guess I know a little bit about you. Um, <laughs> But um, I do. I kind of know. I, I kind of know. Like y'all, you're a beauty blog, correct? Yeah. Lashes, correct. makeup, things like that. Correct. Um, and you are Bella, and then you have a co-host who is Deontay, correct? correct? Is that okay? Correct. His name right, is actually his pariah. His pariah. That's his, yes, that's his okay. um his artistry name. Okay. But okay, cool. y'all. Um, so you know. Uh, we kind of just, you know, wanted to get you on here because last week on our show, um, we talked a little bit about the situation mm-hmm. and um, you commented on our post on Instagram. So, you know, okay. we just, you know, took that as an opportunity to say, you know, come tell your side of the story. Come tell us what's up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, so earlier today, we asked some of our group members, um, mm-hmm. you know, what did they want to know from you? What did they want to hear? You know, what did they want to talk about? So the the first question they wanted to know is just how, like, how did all of this start? Like, how did this situation start happening? Um, well, it started like, it started with a, uh, how did it start with Super Saint? Is what you're saying? Or how did it mm-hmm. start just in general? Just, All with, right. just with Super, just with, with right. like you putting out, you know, that that little bit of tea or whatever. Like, how did all of that start? Like, what happened? In, so I do a sort of kind of podcast on Instagram, which I have been doing for about a year now. Um, it's called, I used to call it T at three. Um, and I used to do it daily, but what I do now is do it two, eight, three messy. And I call it messy Mondays and I just do it once a week. Mm -hmm. Um, and it just goes on with what's going on in the local New Orleans gossip. Um, Mm -hmm. and through that, um, super saint actually came follow me one time. Um, and and would would come and and sometimes just get her a little sip of tea or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, but it kind of started with this post, right? I don't know if I could flip my camera and if I hang up, I'm so sorry because I'm not trying to. I think you can flip it. Yeah. Okay. So this is a podcast from 20, this is from last year. My hair was obviously green. Mm -hmm. Um, and it says, uh, from no, no Orleans gossip tea unfiltered, which is a, um, like a shade page. Right. Uh, that says, Lou been fucking over super and she know it. She just don't want the world to know. Um, which led to this on the same live saying, my cousin pregnant for Lou is super offering her $20,000 not to go public from that screen name. Mm-hmm. Which then, this is T, I have haven't never said we released this yet. So y'all get mm-hmm. this exclusive. And this person here. Um, which led to me saying, well, that's not... A, so, I build my platform on what we call No Tea, No Receipts, which mm-hmm. is basically saying, we, we, we when we talk about the tea, we have the receipts for it. We don't care how long it takes to get or whatever the case may be. Right. It's a receipt for it. It's some type of proof or put. So, them come and say that was absolutely nothing. Right. But, um... That led to another page, which is the actual girl who alleges that she had a relationship with Lou um, mm-hmm. to come on the page. Um, subsequent to that, Supercent posted something in reference to, I would never pay Lou buy, no, I would never pay no money for Lou to get no abortion. I never pay Lou to get no nothing like that. He have his own money. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I messaged her and said, well, listen, you know how I build my platform. It has a, they don't have the receipts. And I told my, my, my the, what I call my sippers, 
um, which are the people that attend my uh, tier three, right? We don't pay attention to nothing. But we don't have the receipt for it. We didn't have the receipt for it at that time. Mm -hmm. So I told her, like, okay, so the story is killed on my on my end. Uh, right. She actually she actually thanks me for that. Mm -hmm. Um, because I did ask my sippers and the people that were in there to not pay attention to anything that we had no receipt for. This was just a hearsay at the right. time. She thanked me for killing the story. And that was that as far as I was concerned. Um, so I, however, did message the girl who alleged that she had the reason, the, mm -hmm. the, the relationship. Um, right. she told me, and she told me a story about this, that, and the other, about a relationship that she had with Lou and she had been having a relationship with you, Lou, and that she had an abortion for him and she paid him 10, she was supposed, he, there was, he was supposed to pay her $10,000. She didn't, she only got 2,500, yada, yada, yada. Still no receipts. I'm like, well, girl, can you show me some receipts? And she mm -hmm. was like, yeah, meet me at a certain place at a certain time and I will show you. So this is May, this is March of, of, of this year. Okay. Um, so she, uh, at that, um, she showed me, which is the document that I showed on my live, which was the mm -hmm. NDA. She did not give it to me, but what she did was um, I took pictures of him. Right. Um, but I was able to feel, I, I mean, and she told me a story that, you know, she that they had been having a relationship and yada, yada, yada. I didn't, at the time, I was a little... Um, Eh, I don't know how this fits, but like, she did you have don't a document. Know if it's true or not. Yeah, right. yeah, but but something that made sense to me was this: she did not want to be public herself, so the whole clout chasing thing kind of what went out the window. She didn't want to go public. Um, mm -hmm. She wanted to. I think she wanted to get their attention, to get her money. Um, oh, no. And in in New Orleans. Um, um, I'm one of the bigger platforms as far as it comes comes to what's going on in the local New Orleans area. Mm -hmm. um, and so she, I think that's why she came out here. Her cousin wanted her to come home and whatever the case may be. I think that's the reason why. Um, but she wasn't, she apparently the story ended. She got $2,500 of her money. The, the agreement said that they were supposed to be paid in um, installments of $2,500 mm -hmm. every three months for the next whatever. And so right. she, um, she didn't get this. A, at the time, she didn't get the second twenty five hundred dollars, and she wanted their attention because she said that she had been calling and calling mm. and no, no, to no response. Um, so at the time, after the, I, the after I met with her and saw her, um, I, I and took pictures of the documents that she had and listened to her story, which I then tended to believe because of the documents. Mm -hmm. um, the documents corroborated basically what she said. Right. Um, it, it was still no reason for me to come forward with it at all until I got a message from a mutual friend. Now, of course, and honestly, outside of Instagram, I had no idea who Supercent was. Um, mm -hmm. uh, this is, I just had been a fan of hers on Instagram. I actually asked her for an interview one time uh, mm -hmm. and she never got around to doing it. Yeah. Um, so I, I didn't know her off of Instagram at all. And, and to be honest with you, still don't. Um, she, um, there was some things going on with the memory loss and apparently she unfollowed me, uh, and blocked me. Um, and I had no idea why, cause I hadn't done anything to her. Mm -hmm. Um, and she, uh, apparently she did this. She said that it got back to me. Cause see that she, <laughs> she has a friend of hers that's probably not a friend that I would, I don't ever reveal my sources, but was giving me information that she believed that I was this, um, this, uh, this, there's a, a I'll show you actually, since I'm on my okay. computer and I'm not on YouTube now, I'm not on Facebook any longer, but uh, there's a, um, a page in New Orleans, let me pull it up right quick, but it's a page okay. that a actually just, uh, it's called All T All Shade New Orleans and it's a page that, talks about all New Orleans tea, including mine. I mean, I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I made the page, but it went like, as you can see, like I'm on here too. But right. there's, um, so it's the, so the page goes on to, it goes about super this and super that. It's a thread of the page that's about her. Mm -hmm. She thinks that this is my page. Someone told okay. her that this is my page, but and I have no- And that's not New York page? I do not have any access to the page. The page actually was started in 2015, mm -hmm. and it was, um, I was in prison at the time. So it's like <laughs> impossible for it to be my page. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, it, 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 I guess it came to her attention that it was my page because actually the page doesn't like an artist named Timor Buck and I became 
reposting a lot of stuff from the page that I had found mm -hmm. on the page about another artist. So I guess that's how they kind of put me with the page or something like yeah. that. But I have since talked to the owner of the page and she's a woman. So it's like, obviously, again, not me. But nonetheless, she accused me of being that page and putting out all this information about her with the memory loss. Um, and she was going on a tangent when she was threatening the psychic as well as the blogs that were reporting any negative information about I need her. to pay attention. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> you didn't know about, oh, you don't know about her Not threatening? Not the psychic part, no. Yes. Okay, so during the memory loss phase, she threatened Tracy Brown, who is a um, celebrity psychic. Oh my God, girl! You got to get on your stuff, girl. Because <laughs> she yeah, she I threatened do. a psychic. She threatened this page. She th she was sending threats to anybody who had anything negative to say about the memory loss. And I, let me try to follow up Miss Tracy Brown because actually she did a reading on me, too. And I actually um, uh, let me find. Let it, me, let me find read out. some comments while you do that. Cause go I ahead, go like... ahead. Because I know, I don't think you can see the comments. I cannot. I cannot. Yeah, I, I hate that I the second person can never see the comments. Okay. So, somebody said you got a pretty mouth. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It cost me a lot of money, so I better be sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But, um... I run my mouth a lot, so I'm an MC by profession, so definitely, but I gotta have a pretty mouth. I don't know what gotta the hell is it. Got to have a pretty mouth. So tell them I say thank you so much. Uh, they talking about my face. I'm concentrating, y'all. I'm concentrating. Because it's to, heavy. I'm to understand. It's a lot going on, y'all. I'm trying very, to get it all. And, for and, you can't, and you can't miss a beat. If you right. miss a beat, you. I don't see where the video. Okay, so here's it. So this, I'm. This is me. I don't have her page, but this is her. This is the psychic. Let me let me play it. So that's the psychic. She did a celebrity reading on Super, and Super and them threatened her. The whole so clip. I'm gonna read you. Some of the this so that's the psychic. Her name is Tracy Brown, and she actually did a reading on Super, and mm. and and Super and them threat sent her threats. Listen to some of the threats. I don't know if let me. Let me just like you. And then she posted on my page, by the way, on YouTube, on my page, on this video, she puts, woman, I will break your neck. You did this for you. So she threatened this grandma. And look mm -hmm. at this me like. <laughs> <laughs> so what she's showing at this point in time is a comment allegedly left by Super on her page threatening to break this whole lady neck. So, okay. <laughs> so, during this time, Super's going around threatening everybody. So, this is why I get caught up in the foolishness. I had recently reposted something from that page. Mm -hmm. She went threatening that page, threatening the owner of that page. She didn't know who the owner was, so I got accused of being the owner. I got in the scope of that caught up mm -hmm. in the, the fuckery. Right. Um, I had gotten messages from a mutual friend that she had posted where she was calling me all kind of messy punks and all kind of foolishness like that. And so she was just going on a tirade on me because she thought I was behind that page, mm -hmm. which is, of course, not true. But OK, whatever. And so I felt I, I still ignored it. Like, girl, you must not know that I have this tea on you or this tea on your situation that this fantasy life that you I think she's in. The, she's ambitious as trying to get a show, whatever she's trying to do. I don't know what it is she's trying to do, but. Mm -hmm. This 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 fairy tale life that you're presenting to the public, you know, I know it is a little bit rocky. Are you forgetting this that I actually messaged you and killed the story for you? I'm sorry, um, y'all got a dog. So if y'all hear a dog bark, it's <laughs> one. Okay, okay dog. Hey dog. What's your dog's name? I feel very Nietzsche. Nietzsche? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey Nietzsche. Nietzsche wants <laughs> some tea too. So um so be, so then um she um that was fine. I went I didn't care about that, but then um, I started to get a little more, a li like my level started going up. I started going live with Shekana mm -hmm. um, from um, uh, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, T.I. Right. Uh, Tiny, like, and, you know, a lot of people started, you know, like my following started getting up. And all of a sudden, my Instagram page gets deleted out of the blue for nothing. Mm hmm and I'm like, what the hell? Like, why? What the hell? And so I'm writing Instagram and I'm whatever, whatever. And so she kind of like, well, listen, let me make a call or something. And she called uh, a guy who filled out a form. And then like a few hours later, Instagram sends me an email saying, we're sorry. 
your Instagram page didn't get deleted, like your Instagram page got deleted by accident or something, mm-hmm. and then we have put it back up. Right. So, all right. So I'm a, a, so the thing, what I'm thinking is that my, my thinking went into, you know what? It is literally, and somebody who has some authority, probably someone with the blue check, which she does mm-hmm. have, mm-hmm. probably somebody from New Orleans, because as my Instagram page got deleted, no, none of them who pretty much I know even reached out to say, okay, well, let me do your read post or anything like that, you know, and, and shout out to Shekinah because she's the only one who did. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and and whatnot. So as far as the the, the, the bigger people, and so right. I mean, not that she owes me anything or anything, but um, so she thinks I'm behind this page. Magically, my Instagram page gets deleted for some craziness. Magically, get puts back together because it was an accident by Instagram. Mm-hmm. And so um, I said that at that time I was going on a tirade on whoever I thought may have had a hand in it. She right. was one of them. She was okay. one of them. Um, the um. So it just so happened that with the luck of the draw, she was up first as far as the tea that I had on her was a little old. So I presented it to the masses. Mm -hmm. Um, And generally speaking, I, like I said, I did have questions about the girl um, because I had called the girl and the girl had actually, before I actually was done it, because keep in mind, I had recorded this. Oh, Lord, what's that? Keep in mind. I'm so sorry, my baby. I was in a phone call. I just okay. another person. So <laughs> keep in mind, um, I have got in touch with the girl like months before, and this is months later. Mm-hmm. The girl was like, "If I block you the first time, <laughs> like if I tell you no, the like, why do you go?" So um, so the girl literally was adamant about not coming forward now. Right. Like she was like, "No." No, shaky, don't do it. I don't. You might blow him up, y'all. I'm sorry. You got the hotline. <laughs> yes, I'm literally, t- and I'm like, what? I'm on. <laughs> She's like, you're probably in the room. So, um, the girl was at this time adamant about, oh, I'm not. No, no, no. And so I talked to her. A few days before I was scheduled to drop the story, and the day before I dropped the story, and she didn't want to come on live. She didn't right. want to be whatever, whatever. And since then, I, I literally, if I call her from my phone, it goes straight to voicemail. And if I call her from somebody else's phone, it picks up, and then it does, don't say nothing. And so, Black so I'm assuming either she got paid or threatened at some mm-hmm. point between then and now to where Alleg- she's at. Allegedly, we're going to put allegedly. Okay, right well. Here. A, a, Allegedly, so I don't know what's going on. Allegedly, that one. <laughs> because she, she didn't, she didn't, she doesn't, she does not want to have like she like apparently she was adamant about me not coming forward and uh, me not bringing it to the light. But I'm like, well, listen, I'm being accused of having a page and, be, and spilling tea. Well, let's spill tea. That's kind of like where I was. I was a little, I was a little vindictive about it. I was a little, I was a little, I was a little torn about it because my 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 my, my Instagram page was it very costly for me with time and mm-hmm. energy building that's like something i really cherish at this point right, because right. I, it was very, everything is extremely organic and i've mm-hmm. invested a lot of time energy and money into mm-hmm. building it and so right. this was something like and for somebody that i think somebody who, who would have the power to call make a phone call get it zapped and then somebody else make a phone call and get it put back mm-hmm. up it was kind of like oh my god so i was very heated at the time all right so i spilled the tea which you can which you know about Right. Um, and I, I, I spelled it out chronologically as it happened. Um, the next thing that happened, though, was the next day I was threatened on live by Superset. A price was put on my head that day. Mm. The next day, um, Lou put a price on my head. Um, and the next day, I was threatened by them. I was threatened by them three separate times, of which I have them all recorded and um, will be a, a part of the lawsuit. And so, um, they were they were threatening me. They were, they, my phone literally. If I put like I don't know what it said, but I have a booking line. If somebody tries to book me, I had to turn mm-hmm. it off because it's the only public number. And literally, it 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 it, it rang off the hook with death threats and we're gonna kill you, you faggot and punk when we find you. This it literally was nonstop during the course of this uh, event, um, mm-hmm. especially when it initially broke. I was being threatened. Um, Continually, I li- literally had to hire security. I had to get 
uh, some of my gigs I had I lost actually a couple gigs, and so mm -hmm. this has become a, a, a snowball effect. But as I'm looking, the psychic, another there are like four people that were actually threatened by this, and one girl is actually suing too. A girl mm -hmm. that works at the clerk of court office, so they accused the 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 they accused see, this, and this was the weird part about it, and I did have my reservations about the girl. I'm like, what are you really after? But to me, it's like, if this is untrue, as she has stated one time, there's no reason for you to behave like this. You just say, it's, it's not true, and call it a day. And nothing happens after that. But mm -hmm. for this to... For, so she confirmed, for me at this point, how true this girl is. The girl was believable. Her documents were whatever. So she even threatened a lady that worked at the clerk of court, who she assumed that I was getting information from. Um, it was also... And it's really her friends. And it's the real mm -hmm. part about it, because um, I was able to go to like i never knew nothing about her finances or her business but one of her friends actually pointed me in the direction and said hey go look at the go look at the tax returns which i did do um go look at our credit report which i did do and find some more appalling things about her and they're like wow is this serious but this is our friends and so this mm -hmm. is really really a, a, a big old snowball situation all right so in, in the case of that though i was like i'm not even dealing with that because what i would do is just have my day in court and so i decided and elected to um, sue her at this point because of the threats. Um, mm -hmm. I did file a police report as well for the threats, and I'm going to handle it in that way. Um, because you know, I, I feel like child, I live, I, I did nine years in prison. My real, I could curse, but you might never curse. You can oh, no. curse, I don't care, I don't care. Okay, so I feel like I did my real nigga time already. This is my white folks' time, I'm living on my white folks' time, so I'm acting like the white girl. <laughs> you play like I'm, I'm literally an internet blogger. And mm -hmm. this is literally what happened. And at the, so with that being said, it's like, wow, you know, I have to, <laughs> I have to, I, I literally have to just do what I have to do. Right. And so that's what it is. And so, uh, so I don't know if that answers so far. So that's what happens with the lawsuit. The lawsuit was filed uh, last week. Um, she should be served sometime this week or the next. And we will go from there. Okay. Well, I'm looking at all the questions that everybody had, and I feel like you just answered every single question that everybody had. Right. To be honest, I'm, um, I'm good with an interview because I do what you do. Basically, I try to you get know? to the bottom. Yeah, I, I like that though. I like how you did that because right. I didn't have to say nothing else. But um, <laughs> some of okay, it was a couple of comments. You know, when we first posted um the the pictures of the court documents and stuff when we first posted that um it was a lot of people saying oh he's just trying to be vindictive or oh you know this just a personal vendetta against super like he been had a problem with super so like to that effect like what do you say to that to the people who think that you just got a problem with her just just doing this just for clout basically okay that's not well let me say this Everybody who is the entertainer, in my opinion, is a clout chaser. Everybody. That's not a, that's not even a question about it. The bigger your numbers, the bigger the check. It's, it's, it's just a proven fact. So if you're into entertainment, everybody from Nicki Minaj, Drake, everybody's a clout chaser. Mm -hmm. The bigger your number is, the bigger your check is. I'm an entertainer. I'm an MC. That's how I make my the, the bulk of my money, by doing this. So if you're calling me a clout chaser, I like to call it paper chaser because I'm checking, chasing paper. But at the same time, if I'm a clout chaser, I'll, I'll wear that proudly because to me, in the instance, anybody who's in the entertainment industry has to chase clout. You have to, in a sense. Chasing clout is a big, godless bad word for some strange reason. I don't know why, but paper chaser don't. But listen, if you're in entertainment, the bigger number you have in those boxes, the bigger likes, the bigger comments, the bigger everything you have, you you have a bigger check. So if I if I am a paper chaser, there's not a question about it. Um, and I do have a, a platform that I see for myself um, mm -hmm. as far as that's concerned. So if I am clout chasing, and I, I consider what I'm doing paper chasing, if that y'all consider that clout chasing, I'm fine to wear that. It's okay. Y'all can call me a clout chaser. I'll go get a tatted right there if they make y'all feel better. <laughs> I don't care what they say about that. As far as being vindictive to her personally, I don't know her personally. I've never hung with her personally. There's mm -hmm. no per personal vendetta I have. Her. The, the, everything that I'm doing is was advised to me by, um, by, by people who have since. And I trust as far as like you know I I mean I was just threatened by someone who has the fin who allegedly has the financial means to end my life. So mm. these are things to do to protect that if anything. Like you know what I'm saying? I mean I the death part, I'm not even really scared about. Care, cared about. I mean, but I do live in some fear and trepidation because I have 
the responsibilities is I have family. I have people that love me, people that care for me. So this puts a fear in my heart because if something happens to me, whatever. But I want to have this in effect in case something does happen to me. This is the paper trail for that. So y'all mm -hmm. can make sure y'all do this. So it's not something personal against her. I don't know her personally. I do not appreciate. I, I, I expected so much as a good cursing out or a good calling. I, I, I expected her to call me or DM me, cursing me out from here. So I expected that. Mm -hmm. I did not expect my life to be threatened. So if your life gets threatened by a mil um, uh, somebody who has the means to end your life and, and you're located in a city where people do not have devalued human life, I, I think you and, sh and anybody else should do the least in protecting themselves as well. Filing a police report and filing a lawsuit or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Because you can't, I mean, I can't, what can I do? Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her? No. <laughs> she's a, you know, I, this is where we have to be on equal footing at, is where I have to take the battle to. I mean, as far as that, that's just the smartest thing to do. And that's come from advisement for the people I care about. As far as the cloud chasing part, if y'all must say that, cool, I'm good. I'm cloud chasing. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. Ne what's the next thing? The, the, you have a choice. Because the, cl cause, cause the cloud comes from the people that are saying I'm cloud chasing. So if you don't want if you think i'm cloud chasing if you don't want me to cloud chasing don't follow don't like don't comment block me and move on to the next thing it's just that simple Baby, then i can't cloud I'm, I'm chasing cloud that i'll never get so um okay um i scroll through the comments a little bit and um one person asked why did you release the info even after the girl asked you not to because um I think he answered this when he was talking, though. Yeah, but I said because... go ahead, you know. My Instagram page was got deleted. I was really <laughs> mad. And, um, I, and she was one of the people that I kind of got confirmation from one of our friends saying that, you know, she's saying that, like, she went on a tirade about everybody. The, the psychics page that got hacked, mm -hmm. the... The ATS's Instagram page, the YouTube page is still there, but mm -hmm. the Instagram page got deleted. Another one, some another somebody that does the T as I do, named Dean Bell, his page gets deleted, and my page gets deleted at the same time. And all this happens within a matter of a week or so from all four of us. Like we mm -hmm. no longer live on Instagram no more because and all and the one thing we have in common is these people. So um it, it kind of was like duh on some awesome stuff. Now of course I don't have any tangible proof that she did make a call to get my Instagram page. And she has said as much as she has said as much as like I don't get Instagram pages deleted, I'll get you deleted. She has said this as much too. But what I'm thinking is that Okay, if you didn't get the Instagram page deleted, but you do it all, but you threaten me, you threat, you threat my life on that. So it's kind of like I, it's almost a, a proof enough to me. So you're, you're, they're asking why did I go forward when the girl asked me not to? Okay, and it's just truthfully I was angry, I was hurt. My Instagram page was gone, and the prime candidate to blame happened to be this woman. And so that's why I went forward. There's no, uh, that, that's just the truth. Uh, it, it, some people may not agree with that. Some people may not like that. But it was just, <laughs> it, 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 what was happening was just like, it, all this, it was like all roads point, pointed here. And so this was my sort of kind of, okay, so look, we even now. And whether it be right or wrong, it's just the truth. That they asked the question, I gave the truth for answer. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm scrolling through a little bit. So, one more question, y'all. I'm trying to pick a good one. Because um, we're not going to hold this man up all night, are we? I know y'all want to, but we're not. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's, somebody said, did your friend advise you not to come on here? No. <laughs> no. Okay, so the lawsuit is public information, and I'm only reiterating what has already been. It is basically public information. Mm -hmm. Like, whatever thing I'm saying, you could go look for. Anyway, I didn't, my friends did not advise me not to come on here. Um, I can talk about, it's my right to talk about the lawsuit. I don't think it damages the lawsuit. I think the lawsuit was made for me when she said that she, she wanted me dead. And when Lou said I have $10,000 spent his death. And when mm -hmm. she said she wanted me dead again. My lawsuit was almost just made at that point. It's like, if, it like at that point, in my opinion, infallible, I think it's the easy win for me. I don't know what's the case, but I mean, I don't, I don't know what's high, the, everything the, the mechanics behind it but mm -hmm. I, I just it's like my little suit was made my little suit is not based on me talking about 
what's happening now. Like everything I'm saying in law school, I'm, I am being threatened. There's proof of that. Right. My life is being threatened by her. My life is being threatened by phone calls and text messages and DMs. My life is my, my I, I literally I really have to have security where I go. I really did lose the gigs. I have uh, so my lawsuit was made for me. With prize and, so me coming on the show talking about this was only telling you what happened with that. So I mean, my friends haven't advised me not to come on a show or not mm -hmm. to talk about it. There's like literally nothing I can't talk about that's not in the lawsuit. It's public. You could go pay right. for you could go pay a dollar fifty cents and get the lawsuit and see everything that I'm talking about. So, um, we know that. <laughs> um, but I guess I had one more question. It, it was, do you think that, um, you know, you'll win a lawsuit, but you just answered that question. And, um, I think that that's pretty much it, y'all. Let me scroll down just a little bit more just to see okay. if, like, it's one more question that's actually Okay, y'all coming in late. Y'all gonna have to rewatch this because we answered all of those <laughs> questions, baby. We answered all of that. All right, babe. I think that's just about it. Um, okay. That is about it. So, is it anything else that you want to say? Anything that you know else that you want to just clear the air about before we? I, I get think I'm just. Of here? I just um I, I just want to say like um for everybody that 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 is do, oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry I had one I did and I almost forgot y'all look I be smoking weed I be forgetting. um okay so okay what I have been seeing with the whole thing about and I hate to say this I don't say this word I hate to say it but her calling you a faggot that part right. um. And everybody that watches this show on a regular basis, y'all know that I'm not biased. This is an unbiased show. However, you know, myself being in the makeup community, having a lot of gay male friends, especially ones that I'm close to, and, um, you know, seeing how they were hurt by that happening to you. So, um, like, what, what, would you, what would you say to them? You know, because a lot of them are, like, saying, oh, you know, that she canceled. You know, we're not buying no makeup. You know, we're not doing this. We're not doing that. Like, what would you say to them in this situation or during this time? I thought I had ducked that question, and that's a no, good question. You did. But, all right, so <laughs> um, <laughs> the, I, I purposely not mentioned those comments. I kept it kind of, like, with me. I did not find a lawsuit or buy for that. Or any mm -hmm. type of defamation, anything type like that. But those were words that she said. Um, I'm gay. I'm a gay male. Um, proud gay male. Um, but I'm also a man and I'm a father as well uh, of two kids. So uh, I will say this, that the, the, the comments about the sexuality, me and Messy Maya were very hurtful. Um, I don't want to, I'm not the victim here in a sense, because I feel like I believe that, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm stronger than those words. And so I don't I don't want to get sympathy. Like, you know, this is something that we had going on. This is not something, like, don't look at me. I mean, if I'm cloud chasing, if I'm money chasing, if I'm bag chasing, mm -hmm. whatever I'm chasing, mm -hmm. don't look at me as that. I don't I don't have a problem with that. But I don't, I just, I have a problem with somebody looking at me as a victim. I do not want to be the poster child for that because I'm just, I'm, I'm very, I'm very down to earth and real and wrong shit. I'm like, literally, if you pay attention to my live this morning, I was in Walmart at self-checkout. I skipped three, four items, you know, and just put them in the bag. Like, this is how real I am. I did this on live and mm -hmm. would care less what anybody thinks about it. So I'm that real, but I don't want to play any type of victim or victim role. What mm -hmm. she said, I think people need to build their own conclusions about. She said she mentioned me as in, in the in the reference of faggot, punk, sissy, punk, sissy, all this stuff like that. She mentioned the memory of a staple of New Orleans in the name of Messi Maya, who is a staple of New Orleans, regardless of his sexuality, in a reference to make to 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 bash me, somebody who had nothing to do with this. And so I think that people need to just see that this person obviously has a history of this. I mean, I've seen going back on her Twitter two, three years where she was like fag bang and all this other stuff like that. She really uses these words freely. So she has no extra, she has no 
no, no, no type of respect or any type of she's. If, in fact, I think she has disdain for the LGBT community as a whole. With that being said, um, I have no respect for her on no type of way whatsoever. For somebody to be so biased from the people that at least part of the fifty, I would say half of the people in, the, if not more, partake in, in making her who she is. And and so, and even though. Everybody got a gay cousin, gay friend, gay partner, gay something. Everybody. And so for them and for those people to still blindly follow her is just appalling to me. Like, literally, I've seen her in one day threaten the life of a punk, a fag, a sissy, or whatever you want to call me. And then the next day, she signed two members of the LGBT community in New Orleans to be crayon cuties. And that was just, that bewildered me how they even would even partake in her when this the other day, she just was referring to somebody who y'all know personally as a, a dead faggot. You know what I'm saying? It's like, y'all should learn. Y'all should stay in y'all place. Y'all didn't fucking learn from SMI. This is the kind of rhetoric that she's saying. So for them to have that type of... So so if, so if this is what I'm saying. I'm not here to change nobody's mind. If she want to think of me that way, cool. But this is what I'm saying. That's for up to us, too. I won't ever buy none of her products. <laughs> I don't wear makeup, but if I did, I still mm -hmm. would buy her products because of this. If there are people that still willing to buy her products, still, that just says a lot of what they really think. Uh, it's, it's, there's no, like even with the, and I'm not getting too political, but we elected Donald Trump because that's what how people really think, not because he's a good president, but they really think the foolishness that he, he was saying. Right, so, I have to agree with that. So in the case of her, it's like you just literally heard this woman just go on a tirade about somebody based on sexuality and even made one of the most horrific statements I have ever heard in my entire life about a man who has passed away because of his sexuality. And so now you're saying that, oh, hey, okay, it's, it's all good. I signed, look, two, uh, these two pumps like me because I give them some money and some uh, some lipstick. That's, that was very hurtful to me. So, I mean, I don't, but I think that I, if I speak out on it too much, I appear m more victim -y. And I mm. don't want to be looked at as, I'm not a victim here. She's not the victim. I'm not the victim. We just two I, people I, not have. I don't up? look at. I don't. I don't look at you like a victim at all. <laughs> I don't know how other people look <laughs> at. I don't look at you like a victim at all. Definitely not. Because um, you know, a lot of people and most people who see themselves as victims don't say anything about what's going on and don't, you know, put out their truth and be honest about the way they feel. So I don't see you as a victim at all. If you feel like that, you wouldn't come on here. Right. <laughs> and, right. and that's just what it is. <laughs> and so, but, and, and, and so that's what I never even I didn't address that in the lawsuit at all. I didn't address that lawsuit, and I tried to duck those questions because the questions about the sexuality issue. Because y'all know she said this, and if nobody's saying nothing, if y'all feel like that's cool, and if y'all still want to support that, and that's the kind of mentality that y'all agree with, who am I? To, I can't change nobody. Mind, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I ain't coming to change my. I came. In, my job is to spill the tea and make people shake bags. That's what I do, and I do that. I do both. Of those things great <laughs> and so i'm not going to change your mind about nothing if you think that's right and you think it's okay for her to say those types of things then right. more power to you and her have that type of thought that you're not gonna have around me but you could go have that type of thought uh, so all right well um <laughs> Okay, now, do you have anything else to say? I'm good. <laughs> Bella, girl, I am, Bella, girl, I am good. I do like your lashes, though. They are nasty, girl. Thank I love them. You. Thank, thank you so much. much. And thank you They're so much for mom. having me. Where They're from where? They from Bougie Cosmetics. Bougie Cosmetics? Bougie Cosmetics. I, I should have pinned that in the beginning. I usually pin that, but we pinned okay. it to something a little bit different today. So, <laughs> uh, do, so with the, I wonder if they'll send me something. I would love to wear some. Um, who is who? That you do you know the people personally? I will get you some lashes. You get, I'm I'm really want to wear lashes. I want to do I them. I will get you some. <laughs> I don't do. No, I don't it's just already like, done. I promise you. Like I don't even have to ask you. She's here right now, and I know it's already <laughs> done. It's done. We got you. Okay. So yeah, she just tell her, hit me up on Instagram or something. I'll give her some promo or something if she wants to. And I'll, oh, um, we just gonna hit you the same way we been hitting you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cute. I I, I want to try them. I want to try doing the, the little hair thing. Get my eyebrows done. Okay. She be a little more my pumps. <laughs> be the more the pumps messy. <laughs> whatever the soup she's in, faggy. Whatever it is, I'm gonna just start doing more and more of that. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, so, Lord. Um, thank you so much for having me. I I do I I I found out about you through this, but I do love I like I love what you're doing. I mean, and it's, you. you keep doing you. It's going to grow, 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 grow. You are thank so real and you are so down to earth. You hear me? So I love that. So thank you so much for having me. Every, all to your, all your people. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much <laughs> for entertaining me for these uh, last hour. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate it, babe. 
No problem. I love y'all. So I told you. Love you later. too. All right. All right, y'all. That's the tea. Oh Lord. Okay. All right. So um y'all, I have nothing to talk about. I have absolutely nothing to talk about. We came, we saw, we conquered, <laughs> we got the tea <laughs> from the horse's mouth. I mean, who else did that? Who else, y'all? Like, please tell me, like, who else? Nobody, right? Oh, okay. <laughs>